Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can download Windows updates via the Microsoft Update Catalog. In order to use this functionality of, or to use this website, you must be using the Internet Explorer web browser. I know we don't like using it, we'd rather use Firefox or Chrome, but in this case we need to because it's using an ActiveX element. Uh, hopefully soon they'll they'll get rid of that dependency and get it on other browsers. There's a little trick that may work, which I'll give a link down below to that article. But today we're going to use the Internet Explorer and go to our favorite search engine, which is Google in my case, and search Microsoft Update Catalog. Once we click that, we're going to go be presented with this web page here. As you see, it's this is going to load up here. So it says, welcome to the Microsoft Update Catalog site. We want your feedback. So if you have any feedback for them, simply s send us the feedback with that little button down there. So in order to search for an update, we simply go to the search bar and type in our knowledge base number. That is KB. So in my case, I'm going to be downloading the cumulative update for Windows 7 Service Pack 1 for 64-bit. So that update number is 31 25574 so once i click search i'll be presented with three options as you see we have products windows 7 windows server 2008 r2 and windows 7 as you see the very first option is just without 64 bit so that is a 32 bit for 32 bit operating system the second one is for servers and the third is for the one we want which is 64 bit operating systems which in this case, is this update is for Windows 7. As you see here, it was last updated on May 16th, and this is the size. Simply add the update and click View Basket. Once we click View Basket, we'll be showed all the updates that we have selected, and we're going to now download it by clicking the Download button. This will pr present us with a download option, which will allow us to choose the location for the updates that we're downloading. Simply browse your computer. For, you're going to have to allow this app to make changes to your PC because you're downloading an update. Simply select the location you want to download the update, select OK, then click continue and your update is now downloading. Once you're done, once this is done, you simply go to the location that you download the update and run that particular update. Hope this guy helped. If this helps you, hit please consider subscribing and putting a like on this video. Till next time, this is Nathan and I'm signing out.